Okay, today with associ in association with the Virginia Tech IT Security Office, we are going to show you how to run and install the TrueCrypt software. The TrueCrypt software is used for encrypting sensitive data files on your computer. Uh, these files could be anything from files containing social security numbers or credit card numbers or files that you just you know don't want anybody else to find in case your computer or system gets hacked. So to begin, we'd like you to go to www.truecrypt.org. Once you're there, we'd like you to go and click on the blue bar up at the top, Downloads. Depending on what software you're using or operating system, click on the uh, Download button. Since we're using Windows, we're going to click on the first download and then click save file now usually this file saves to your desktop so go ahead and find it it's not on your desktop it should be in your my computer let's click on setup and click run you can read the licensing agreement if you would like and then click I accept and accept we're going to install and this is telling you where it's going to install it program files you can change it if you would like depending on where you want it installed and then click install this may take a couple seconds depending on your computer okay once it's been installed, well, this is asking you if you would like to read a uh, tutorial, but since you're watching this video, you don't need to right now, but you can always come back later. Click No, and then click Finish. Then if you chose the option of having a desktop icon, go over on the desktop and open it up, or go and find wherever you've decided to install it. And this is the start of TrueCrypt. The first thing we're going to show you is how to create a volume. A volume is where your, your encrypted files will be stored in your computer. So first click create volume. And then we're just going to click next. Standard volume. And this is what the file is going to be called. Uh, for our sake we're going to call it encrypt vt just so we can easily find it and show you I would recommend naming it something that's not so obvious uh, maybe something like work stuff or things to do or something that you'll remember but won't look obvious to uh, someone trying to get into your system then click next and next again and then this page is asking you how big you would like your file if you have a lot of sensitive data you might consider making it a gig or more depending on how much free space you have but for our sake in this demonstration, we're just going to make it 200 megs. Next, it's asking you to create a password. This password will be used to, you know, start and access the file anytime you want to do that. And since there might be a lot of sensitive data inside, I would suggest making it something hard to guess. For our sake, we're going to make it capital VT, lowercase Hokies, 2010 exclamation point uh, generally I would tell you to be use a special event or a your alma mater and add some lowercase uppercase numbers and special characters uh, and at least eight or more characters long so we click next and this is telling us that if we have under 20 characters it might be easy to guess but if we use my rules that I just went over then uh, you don't have to worry about it Next, you just have to move your, your mouse around in a couple circles around the screen. Uh, this is helping the TrueCrypt create an encryption code that it will use. So just go around in some circles for a couple seconds. Then click Format. And then wait while it builds your file.
Okay, so our volume has been successfully created. Now we're going to show you how to access that volume. So click exit. So what we're going to do next is you need to choose the disk which you are going to have on your computer. It could be any of the ones that aren't in use. So you could see that C and D and E aren't available because they're already used. Generally a C is your hard drive and D or E might be DVD or CDR drives. So for our sake, we're going to click P. You can pick any one you want, it does not matter. Then next, you come down and you click Select File. There is our file right there. Usually it'll take you right to where your file's been saved. If not, I would suggest looking in Document and Settings under your username. As you can see, our username is Innovation Space, where the movie's being filmed, but yours will usually be your, your name, you know, whatever your name be, may be under the computer. So now that we have that selected, we're going to click Open. And then you come down here and you click Mount. And it cues you for your password. So go ahead and enter your password and click OK. As you can see, there it is right there. Our file is currently being mounted and that's how much space we have available. I'll give you a couple seconds to catch up if you got lost trying to find it. So now we need to find out what does it mean to mount. Well, if you go to your My Computer, you will now see we have an actual disk called P. You can open it and see inside of it. So let's say hypothetically you wanted to drag a file into it. Let's say something that maybe has social security numbers, like an old test if you're a your old test if you're a professor that might have student IDs. Um, so now if we open it up, you can see that it's in there. So in order to make that secure, we need to dismount it and hide it. So now we're going to go back to our tr true crypt and we're going to click on P and then we're going to tell it to dismount. So by dismounting, this means that when we go back to my computer, there is no more P. One other trick I would uh, recommend is once you're when you when you have the actual file, so we're going to go find our encrypt file, documents and settings under your name. Here's the encrypt one. I would suggest renaming it, maybe whatever your name you wanted to pick. Like I suggested work stuff, and then maybe put a .pdf on the end. This will just uh, help when someone's looking at your computer. If they did find it, then it just looks like some old know-nothing PDF. Well, that's all we have for today. We thank you for this vi watching this video with the Virginia Tech IT Security Office. Uh, if you would like, our next video is on how to run the Social Security and Credit Card Finder tool. And I'll show you how to put those files that you found in the TrueCrypt software and encrypt them. Uh, thanks again, and have a great day.